Reacher is the upcoming Amazon Studios TV series to be released this Friday. The show is based on a series of crime thriller novels written by British author Lee Child. The series is a fresh retelling away from the 2012 film Jack Reacher starring Tom Cruise. Does the new Amazon series live up to its 26th novel namesake and lay ground for a new Amazon series, or does it just miss the mark? Stay tuned to find out. Reacher stars Alan Richson in the lead role of Jack Reacher, a former military investigator and drifter who is caught up in a series of murders that soon unravels in a large conspiracy. The eight-episode season is based loosely on the events of the first Jack Reacher novel, Killing Floor. While I haven't read it, reading through the synopsis leads me to believe that the series is closely tied to the first book. My personal exposure to Jack Reacher is pretty limited. The 2012 film starring Tom Cruise was a total blast, as it balanced crude action with crime noir elements in a way that was fresh and engaging. Unfortunately, the sequel, Never Go Back, largely missed the mark for me in what I can only say was a forgettable fare. I enjoyed Cruise's bout as Reacher, but soon learned that a lot of his mannerisms didn't follow the character of Jack Reacher as portrayed in the books. Enter Alan Richson. In the novels, Lee Child is very particular in his description of Jack Reacher. His description is something like 6'5", 210, and 250, and having a ridiculous set of attributes similar to something like Arnold Schwarzenegger. So at 5'7", it's easy to see why Tom Cruise was not liked. Fear not here, as Richson clearly embodies every characteristic. Throughout the series, it's joked a lot about Reacher's size, and without a doubt, he's a large human being capable of much destruction. What's a guy like that doing in jail? Zip ties? Cuffs didn't fit him. You guys recycle. Richson religiously read through the books to garner as much information as possible, and I feel he generally nails the physical embodiments as well as the unique personality traits of Reacher. For some, he might come off a bit too stoic. But series creator Nick Santora does a good enough job establishing there is much more to Reacher than his large frame. And you're walking down that street, and you ain't had enough to eat. Santora has a long history in writing television, namely with his start on The Sopranos, as well as Prison Break, and one of my all-time favorite under-the-radar shows, Lie to Me. Without a doubt, you'll notice his style in dealing with crime thrillers as well as his handling with action sequences, which, if you're looking for action set pieces, Reacher has quite a few. Thanks to Richson's physique as well as the confidence in each setup, action sequences are visceral, brutal, and fun to watch. Quite a few times I've screamed out in shock. Thankfully, the action to gore balance is walked tightly with action sequences having a pop, but not being too gory for the sake of it. Santora did help write Punisher Warzone, and some of the action feels familiar to the action scene in Reacher. Reacher's cast across the board is great, including the out-of-place Detective Finley, played by Malcolm Goodwin, and the fiery Roscoe, played by Willa Fitzgerald. It's also worth noting Kristen Kruick's appearance in the show, as her and Richson share time together in the cult hit Smallville. You ought to stick to the shallow until you learn how to swim, gorgeous. Maybe you ought to try breath mint surfer, boy. <laughs> <laughs> Name's Arthur Curry. My friends call me AC. The cast is all solid, led most importantly by Richson, who I think really steals the show every time he is on screen. The mystery elements might be the weaker aspects of Reacher. Within the first episode, maybe even two, you could probably guess what's going to happen. Familiar actor faces don't leave secrets as the usual bad guys play, guess what, the usual bad guys. Thankfully, some of the more cliched elements of Reacher don't bog down and the show's tension tightens episode by episode, making the finale well worth your wait. Reacher fits firmly in the vein of the new John Krasinski, Jack Ryan series. Is it the best show on television? No, but it doesn't need to be. The entertainment value is there in spades, led by a charismatic, larger-than-life performance that honestly reminds me a whole heck of a lot of a 90s Arnold Schwarzenegger performance. The cast is all solid, and the stakes are there just enough that by season end, you care about each character and their own pass. 
Surely enough, Reacher will become the next big series for the streaming network, and I wouldn't miss out. If you're still here, consider heading over to my Patreon, where I post unique content, upcoming reviews, and channel updates frequently. Thank you, and you have a great 2022.